you wanted to start the video out in the truck. Yeah. Yeah, we're underway. Well, the connectogazoid isn't uh, proficient at horizontalness. Yeah, the one we normally use failed. Mm. We just... Here we are. We threw you up on the dashboard. You talk to them. Tell them what we're going to go do. We're going to go for a walk. Yes, we're going to go for a very cool walk. Put some trail miles on. Left the detectors back at the shack. We're going to warm up out there. It's chilly today. We need to move. All right, so we got a few minute drive and we will catch up with you when we land. Yes, we will. So what we are doing is we're gonna do a section of the Wapak Trail here today in New Hampshire. This area is called the Sharon Ledges. And if you've been here, you know why. If not, you'll know when you see the view. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go up to the first part that is the ledges, taking the beautiful view, and then we're just gonna go beyond that and do some exploring. Give ourselves a few hours and get out of here before it's dark. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. The art of making it look like you do it every time. I know that you have This is very cool, Dan. So when you start up this trail, it's up. Up, 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 right from the beginning. Oh yeah, right now it's up. Years ago, I don't know how long it's been gone, but there used to be an abandoned house that sat right here on the side of the trail. And I was up here a few years ago and it was gone. They bulldozed it. I actually have pictures of it and used one of them that our friend Thunder Chief had taken for a Third Life album cover. There you go. So right here is the remains of that house. Now it just looks like somebody dumped construction materials. But you can see, not very big. Small footprint too, huh? Yeah, it is. That'll rot away and be an iron bed at some point in time. Somebody like us will come along and find it in a couple hundred years. <laughs> like 90% of the leaves are gone, huh? Nothing left. It's almost that time of year. Yeah, it's all on the ground becoming uh, slick and Concealing things you don't want to step in. Beautiful. Wow. So coming right off that road we were on. That's just old livestock pasture. Some beautiful walls up here. That slab of rock at the bottom. Oh yeah, huh? You know, think of had to get the oxen out, chain it up, drag it and drag it. Actually, you can see where... There's a level underneath. Yep, they built a sub substrate for it. This is one of our contemplative moments. and Things like this are what make it wonderful to be out here. So, Dame's talking about this stone, which is... It's almost six feet long. Think of how long it took them to extract these rocks, get them over here, and build that one six foot section. And look at this thing going up this hill. I could see that one six foot section taking from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Just that. If any of you are new to the channel, what we do, we're relic hunters, we're historians, but videos like this on days like today, we just go out, we explore, and it's all about 
taking it in and our speculation on you know the past there's a lot of things we can pinpoint out that you know the road we came up on there was a more than likely a colonial home down there and these walls that we're following up are old pastures for livestock painfully obvious there was no crop growing up here no. <laughs> For the rest of you who know what's going on here, sit back, enjoy, and have fun with us. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Did you notice that wall that came up? Yeah. Bangs the left. Yeah. Tees all, uh, corners off and goes up again. Wow, look at this thing, man. I forget how awesome this is. I love this trail, and I tend to do more of the southern half of it and it's just always awesome. Doesn't matter how many times I come up here or frequently or infrequently, when I see stuff like this, it just, it just hits me. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. So Damien was making a great and logical observation about the the wall. And they're not Necessarily up here, they're not field stones dug out like the lower wall. Right, they dig in a field and if it was in their way, they'd move it to the wall. There's no digging up here. But just past this slide, all down there, you can see what we would call cart pads going to different cut out pits. So it's my supposition that they're pry bar quarrying all through here and using that flat stock to run the wall because it's all coming out in these flat sheets very stackable yeah very little round rock in those walls if you just take a moment when your places and let your mind wander and clear it without any preconceived notions it just comes alive and you can see it its own language all right next up is the first outlook. went down again. Yeah. How long ago did we lose you? <laughs> he missed all the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Did you see it? Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, there was a UFO going across the sky and we saw Sam Squants chasing after it. The damn thing stopped right there, <laughs> mooned us, <laughs> and then flipped out. All right, onward then. Wow, that's actually been in there a long time. Natives? Is that a marker? Ancient aliens, man. What are you talking about, natives? <laughs> this is the spot that I remembered. That's amazing. Yeah. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's... Was that me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully enveloped in the chimney oh, effect damn. of my own. 
<laughs> That's brutal, and you, and you know why, mostly? How many bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches did you eat this morning from Duncan's? I had one this morning and one this afternoon. And you've got one more ready to go. I do. You might want to slow your roll. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful view, Charlie. <laughs> it was like... It, it's how I would imagine it sounds when they hit oil. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving, leaving the outlook, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go into the woods a bit. Maybe we'll take the trail some, and then just start looking around. I'm curious. What's out there? What is out beyond the Blaze Trail, Dame? Everything. Everything. <laughs> what? That's interesting. Looks like somebody came over from uh, Andre Sculpture Art Institute place thing. Oh, it's free floating. Uh oh. Tell by the by its own chi. <laughs> chi of the rock. Huh. Good eye. You're looking at that rut, aren't you? I'm not sure what I'm crossing over, but I'm looking. Yeah, this would be a decent place for a cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in comparison to where we've been lately. Well, you know, we're always on the, the lookout for early settler sites, cabins, and places like this are fairly decent for it. High elevation, somewhat flat compared to the rest of the area. It's just cool to look around and potentially find stuff like that. Huh. It's flat. Underneath it. Huh. We were looking for a covered well. Yeah. This is not a good place to dig a well. You're not getting anywhere <laughs> into the ledge, for sure. <laughs> It'll be interesting, though, to see where the next chunk of wall is. Yeah. I haven't been up that way in so long that I can't remember. I do know that there's a big, big wall way out there, but it's been so long, I don't know how far away it is. Well, we didn't even realize what time it was, and I said to Dame, holy mackerel, it is, it's getting close to the end. We're up in the flight path right now. And uh, not only are we not paying attention to time, I keep forgetting it's November, so that it gets, it gets dark so early. As soon as that sun goes down, which is in about 10 minutes, <laughs> it's gonna get very cold. We're almost at the peak of this section of trail, but we're not gonna go on any further because we just don't want to. At some point, we are gonna do some night hikes that'll make for some great adventures, but for today, that wasn't the plan. And to be cautious, we just won't. So we are gonna hit the trail and we're gonna see you soon. So hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>